What's up, YouTube? My name is Spade, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. In today's episode, we'll be using some ugh, disgusting stall. But, 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 there is a twist. We have a Magnezone with this interesting uh, substituting, iron defensing, body pressing set, and a Scarf Ditto. But it's a stall heavy team, but so far I haven't used a team like this, so. Should be interesting, should be fun, I, I think, I think. We got the uh, good old uh, defensive core of uh, Skarmory and Blissey, which has existed since, I think, Generation 4, ever since Skarmory got access to Roost. So that's really cool to see this um, dynamic duo back after like four generations. So if I was my opponent, I would lead with maybe Rotom? Um... Uh, I'm gonna go with Among Us and put something to sleep. Yeah, it is. It is the uh, Rotom. Um, he has the Hatterene. I think on this first turn, I'm a Sludge Bomb. He also has Bisharp, which I could put to sleep, but I'm scared of scared of the Hatterene, so. Yeah, just want a sludge bomb on the first turn. And of course he has the Among Us of his own. But if he doesn't have if he doesn't have the um sludge bomb, but he does. Okay. Well, I have I I have one hit on him, which he doesn't. So I can keep going this war for for a little bit at least. Okay. Got him down pretty low. Who wants to use the Regenerator first? Uh, this Skarmory doesn't have a, a Brave Bird, so... Can't really go into it. Substituting Magnezone... Is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna go into it. There we go. I managed to lure him into false sense of security, where we are both just going for sludge bombs. So what I can do is substitute here. I don't think he has a move to uh, break my sub with. So... I think I'm iron defense here at least once. And he goes into a Rotom. And I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna T-Bolt. Hmm. 722. I, uh, let's just start body pressing here. So... Wait, he broke my balloon. Does that... Really? That works through substitute? Apparently it does. Is he going to... We have Blissey here. And we have Among Us again. I think I'm going to go into Among Us. As he goes for the Hydro Pump. Don't want to waste the good Magnezone. Um, is he want to go into Bisharp now? I don't think he's going to do the same thing. I think he's going to go into like Bisharp. Alright. He has the Magic Bounce. Should have gone for the uh, Sludge Bomb again, but I didn't dare. I wanted to change my plan a little a bit. <sighs> hmm. I guess we got the Blissey to take the potential Psychic. He does get a special defense drop. I'm, uh, Seismic Toss him once. See what's up. He's still not able to do much because <laughs> this is a Blissey. So, um, Seismic Toss. Then I'm probably going to be forced to uh, Roost or Soft Boil, whatever. All right, he's got, um, we got, 
We got Skarmory, we got Clefable. I think Skarmory is the best answer here. As he switches out, makes a nice read, goes into Rotom. I mean, if he's gonna Vault Switch, then I'm gonna just Roost. Okay. He goes for the, um... Goes for the trick, that's a nice move, because... All my answers are pretty much uh, defensive here, so... Hmm... He's gonna Vault Switch... My Sturdy is broken, but, you know, at this point, this Skarmory is kinda like... Kinda like dead. You can't really do much being locked into one move. I can do Scarf Roost here, so... I guess that's the thing. But now he can go into Bisharp, which is uh, really great for him. Um, is he... He's probably running like max speed. And I, I do have Ditto though, so if he gets too many boosts, you know... I can do something with Ditto. Is he gonna be able to knock me out with plus two knockoff? I guess we're gonna find out. Because I would like to put him to sleep. Yeah, I do take it. There we go. And then... I mean... If he just stays asleep for two turns. No! But he doesn't knock me out. Yes! But he's focus sashed. No! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, at this point, I kind of like. I would kind of like him to just get more boosts if he so desires. But he crits the Skarmori, which is fine. At plus two, it probably would have taken me out anyway, so... Go into Ditto. Um, what is the best move? I, I think... I mean, he's got the Kongolder anyway, so... Might as well uh, knock off here. Should have gone for the Iron Head. <laughs> Didn't think he would just directly go into it. But he decides to save the... Uh, Save the Bisharp, and I don't have entry hazards up. Don't have a single layer of uh, spikes. So I think I'm gonna go into Clefable to take the Mock Punch, which he kind of has to go for. And then... I think I shall proceed to Moonblast. Knock out the Kongolder, at least. And then in comes the Bisharp. Hmm. This Clefable is still really useful against Hatterene and Rotom. I really don't want him to Sword Stance, but. Yeah, he does go for the Iron Head. Nice. Um, I can't really lock myself into a Choice Scarf, uh, Sucker Punch, so let's just, uh, go for the, go for the knockoff. In comes Talonflame. Hmm. This thing could also Sword Dance, but he could Flare Blitz. Hmm. What if I just go for Knock Off? And then sack something. Is he gonna Flare Blitz? I mean, it's kind of free. It's kind of free looking at what I have. Do I want to go into... Do I want to sack Magnezone? I 
I'm a knockoff. I'm a knockoff here. Heavy duty boots. Yeah, he does go for flare blitz. Like I said, it's it's really really a free move to him. I think I just have to go into Clefable and I'm gonna go for the soft boil, expecting him to recover, or or rather like. I was expecting him to, like, Brave Bird or Flare Blitz to knock himself out. But that does not happen. And now he's kind of free to... Hmm, do I want to knock him off? He's free to Spore. Unless I go into Among Us. But then we're back to square one with the Among Us War. The War of the Among Uses. I could T-Wave him. That could make things interesting. That could potentially help me win the war. <laughs> he goes into Hatterene. <laughs> so I paralyzed myself. Nice. Nice. But we got the Blissey. I mean, I, I think it was kind of like a free... Free spore on his part, so. Hmm. Is he wanna? Is he gonna stay in here? Would he dare? I think I'm a soft boil here. I didn't dare to uh, go for stealth rocks right there. In this situation. Expecting him to uh, like switch out or anything. So let's go for the seismic toast. Will it be enough? Yes. Knock out the Rotom at least. That's good. In comes Talonflame. Blissey, do I need it for anything? Hatterene. Yeah. Magnezone. Clefable. I think Clefable is just expendable at this point. And he goes for the roost. He does have it. He does have it. Well, I think I'm a Thunder Wave here. Oh, that really sucks. Man. Flare Blitz Roost. He could still have Swords Dance. Huh? There we go. Got the Talonflame paralyzed. Finally. And then... I think I'ma just proceed to go for a uh, knockoff here. And everybody's paralyzed. You get paralyzed, I get paralyzed, everybody gets paralyzed. Um I think I'm a soft boiled here. Expect him to I'm expecting him to get off his flare blitz. And then I can get back to full health. We're kind of in a stalemate situation. Like, I don't really dare to make any, any sort of uh, bold prediction here. I feel like playing it safe is uh, going to be my answer to uh, winning this match. But, does Magnazone, does Magnazone outspeed him? Hmm. My Moonblast here. Just try to get a little bit of damage on him. This is tough with him having a uh, roost. But at the same time, he's doing a lot of damage to himself with the, uh, 
Flare Blitz recoil, so... He roosts. I get off Moonblast. Uh, do decent damage. 22%. I don't know if knockoff would do any more. I doubt. I could go into... I could go into Blissey and, like... Let him knock himself out. But I'm still worried about the, um... Hatterene, so... There's that. It's Moonblast. And there he goes, Brave Bird. All the things. Ooh. Now if he gets, like, paralyzed here... That would be tough. But I think he still outspeeds, like, my Magnezone, because it's... Only 191 speed. If he's max speed, but he's adamant... If, if that's cut in half, does he... I'm not sure about my speed tiers. I'm gonna play it safe. And he does get off the roost. But I don't get off my soft boil, so... I'm gonna need to do that now. If I get paralyzed now... Ooh. Hmm. Well, I should still be able to, uh... Take a hit? <laughs> Paralyzing myself with the Thunderway was the uh, worst thing I've done so far. Um, I mean, losing... Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I don't even care anymore. Maybe Magnus don't get outspeed. A paralyzed Talonflame. He probably doesn't. Okay, he doesn't dare. He does not dare. And now I'm at 19%, so I cannot make a substitute. Huh. He could spore... Am I going to... I'm gonna go into Blissey. I'm gonna go into Among Us first and then Blissey. Is what I'm trying to get at here. He goes for Sludge Bomb. Maybe he wants to put me to sleep. If I get off these Stealth Rocks now, which I haven't shown him... Ooh, that might get me the advantage I needed. I haven't shown Stealth Rocks whole game. Because I haven't been in a good situation to use them, plus the Hatterene, but I finally get them off. I got rid of the uh, heavy duty boots with the knockoff, and he's at 46%. Oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. Is he gonna wanna. What is he gonna wanna do? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, if he puts me to sleep, like, so what? What are you going to do? Go into Hatterene? And then what? I can burn my first turn of sleep here, as he sacks his Talonflame. So... Yeah. And now he can go back into Hatterene. I, I think that's it. I think that's the game. I think that's the game. And I can even go for Seismic Toss right here, and it doesn't matter if I don't. Get the first turn, or the second turn, wake up. And now I'm kind of getting... Ugh. Irritated here. Finally, three turns of sleep. That sucks. Um, let's get over one Seismic Toes here. And then... I'm gonna think I'm gonna just softball as long as he doesn't get another drop. I think we are fine. He's doing some good damage with the draining kiss. He figures he can recover quite a bit, but Seismic Tuss is still doing more, so. I think two more. Okay, he chooses the Psychic. That's fine. 
I can go for the seismic toss. And then I think I just... Uh, I think I'm just uh, soft-boiled. This has natural cure. So what I can... What I can basically do is just regenerate a natural cure between these two Pokemon. And yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much game over, so... That's excellent! I'm liking this team. It is still heavy and the games seem to take quite a bit, but uh, it's still a fun team. I think using also uh, Ditto is really, really fun. You get to... at the same time you get to learn the opponent's sets. And because I'm still new to the meta game, um, it's fun to see like what other people are using. So... He's got three steel types. None of which are really good subjects to Magnezone. Because Scissor can U-turn. Um, he's gonna lead with... Probably... Excadrill? I think I'm gonna go with uh, Skarmori. See what's up. <laughs> but we got we got shed shell so um I'm wondering if I have any I think going to going into Blissey is actually good. He could I mean he could just vault switch. But I think going into Blissey is fine. Yeah. Try to get off those uh, stealth rocks, but he's probably gonna go into like Urshifu or something. So, yeah. Shed Shell is a good item because a lot of teams are carrying a Magnezone. Even though Hidden Power Fire was nerfed, and that really sucks for Magnezone, um, it's still a useful Pokemon. A really good one. So, he's probably gonna like. Close combat or U-turn. He's the water type one. In that case, I'm going to Among Us because I can regenerate. He goes for U-turn. He's got good, good, good synergy with his team. He can. I bet he can usually like use this combination to trap like steel types. Skarmory comes in, then you go into Magnezone, and then you trap it. But this time around, we got uh, Shed Shell on the Skarmori, so... No shenanigans today. Among Us actually matches up really well against this team. I don't really see anything that can... ...really one-shot... ...this Among Us. So I think, I think what I'm, go I'm gonna do here is uh, go for the... Go for the Spore as he Swords Dances. That's interesting. Hmm. Does he have superpower? Let's find out! <laughs> he's gonna be forced to sleep for one turn. Okay, he's got a knockoff. Hmm. Plus two knockoff. Let's go for it. He wakes up, goes for the Bullet Punch. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He's leftovers, he's not gonna be able to uh, knock me out with another one, so I can just knock him out instead. He doesn't even choose to go for another one. How fast are we? That's the base speed of Ditto, not the base speed of Scissor transform into a Choice Scarf. Ditto transformed into a Choice Scarf Scissor. Um, but we got the, um, we got the Among Us again. I think he's gonna be forced to attack, because I had the plus two. Ditto is such a cool Pokemon. It's so much fun. And... Is he gonna... Like, I was... Earlier I was using the set with the Acrobatics Rillaboom, but... He hasn't gone into it yet, so... Does he have it? Oh, it looks like he does! Judging by the, uh, whatever the item is. The grassy seed. I was like, should I just, like, sludge bomb? Okay, so sword, st sword stance, acrobatics. I think Skarmori is still fine if he sword stances. Yeah, 
there's the acrobatics, but I do know about it, so not an issue there. Um, one layer of spikes. Or is he gonna? I think I'm gonna shuffle him once. There we go. Get the Urshifu out, which I think is fine. I do want to get a one layer of spikes, and he goes for the U-turn, uh, so that's fine. Goes back into Magnezone. And that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go into Amoongus again on the Vault Switch. He does go for the Flash Cannon this time around, but with the grassy terrain recovery and everything, this is just fine. So... I don't want to go into Magnezone because I may just need the Balloon for the Excadrill, so... I think Blissey is fine now. Alright. He does get a special defense drop. Ooh. Ooh. I want to get up my Stealth Rock, but... I mean, Blissey doesn't really wall anything besides this Magnezone. Not really, so I think... I am going to prioritize... Stealth Rocks here. And then... I will... I think I might just go into Ditto. Ooh! Nice! Now I get a Choice Scarf Excadrill! <laughs> That's great. And then... Hmm. EQ is kind of free. He does have the Rillaboom. But, like, as long as I have Skarmori, I don't really care. And with all the hazards, all the damage he's taking, you know, that's fine. He's probably going to Sword Stance here. But I think that's fine. He goes into Excadrill now. To spin, I believe. And we saw he had Stealth Rock, Iron Head, Rapid Spin. And, well, I think getting some good damage on this Excadrill is uh, going to be great. He can't touch me, really, so... Yeah, I do actually knock him out with all the massive defense that uh, Skarmori is packing. Um, what is a safe switch into zero, zero Aura? Do I dare to go into... Ditto to take the Absorb the Electric type move? Um, I'm gonna pivot into Among Us. As he goes for the Plasma Fists, okay. And he's, uh, he's Life Orb, okay. I've seen a set with Zero Aura having a, a Blaze Kick, so that would be the, the worst thing that he could do. Is he gonna wanna go into, like, Magnezone? I wouldn't really care if he did. I'm a sludge bomb this time around. There we go. Catch the uh, Rillaboom. Knock him out in one hit from this range. That is excellent. In comes the Urshifu. U turn. What does he have? Does he have anything to. I don't think he can knock me out in one hit. Yeah, that's right. Like, I'm just uh, go for the spore. He goes into Magnezone. And then... I could try to heal my Blissey here. Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna try to do that. Get off the soft boil here, so then I have a safe, absolute safe switch into uh, Blissey. I kind of thought Blissey would be useless at this point, but uh, maybe not. Maybe it still has some uses. 
Having Rocky Helmet on something would be great. No such luck. But yeah, he's like totally choiced. Probably Scarf. Is my guess. But yeah, we got the Blissey here, so... I'm gonna go into that and hopefully start like seismic tossing. But he wakes up, gets off the Vault Switch. Critical, critical hits. I'm still thinking he's like Specs, probably. And this is Scarf. Um, but now I'm kind of like in a range where he could... He's gonna keep on doing the U-turn Vault Switch shenanigans and slowly like wearing me down, so... Having those hazards up would be nice. But he can... Pretty sure he can knock me out with a U-turn from this range. Let's just sack it. Oh, I actually live the U-turn. Actually live it. Do I wanna... Do I wanna use this thing as a death fodder? Do I wanna go into ditto? Plasma fists. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna pivot into Amoongus again. As he goes for the play rough. Yeah, I didn't really dare to switch into uh, Ditto. Because I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna need Ditto to uh, wrap this game up, so... I think we can Spore again. Spore again, and then... <laughs> what do I go into? I... No, five seconds left. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna just uh, keep going for the Giga Drains. Can I predict him to... Uh, how does the Sleep Clause work? Like, can I predict him to wake up to go for another Spore? Let's see. He goes for Flash Cannon. There we go. Yeah, another Pokemon is not asleep, so I can use it again. Immediately. Um, let's go into Magnezone. But because we both have Magnet Pull, I believe we cannot... ...trap each other. But I can go for Body Press. Get some really good damage on him. And... I cannot go for the Electric-type move as long as he has the Zero Aura. But yeah. All right, this works out great. This does work out great. Maybe he's, you know, an analytic or something. I don't know. Maybe do I do have him trapped. But he doesn't really have, like, a safe switch into Body Press Magnezone at this point. And the Stealth Frogs are also pressuring him, so... Okay, he disconnected, so this might be the game. And he's gone. Let's do one more match. These matches are taking uh, quite a long time, but, you know, it is a stall-heavy team, so it's understandable, but so far I'm really enjoying this team because it's so much different from anything I've used uh, so far doing the, these uh, showdown battles. Uh... Torkoal is probably going to be the lead, right? Do I want to lead with the... Um... I mean, honestly, I'm expecting Torkoal to be the lead, so... Let's go with, uh... Let's go with Blissey. And I think I want to... Well, I, anything that could switch in doesn't really... I'm a Stealth Rock first, then Toxic. Ooh, he's got Body Press. That's cool. I'm gonna go for Soft Boiled as he Stealth Rocks, right? Nope. He goes for Rapid Spin, alright. I see what's up. I should have gone for the Toxic first. I didn't dare. I did not dare. <laughs> what switches into... What switches into Darmanitan <laughs> in the sun? 
Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> but I have to make the choice first. So... Um... I think Blissey is... Does Karmori do anything in this match? I mean, honestly, I, I, I really don't think so. So, I'm gonna just sack my Skarmori here. Maybe I can try to get up a spike? Nah. No such luck. But what we can do now is uh, go into Ditto. I mean, otherwise I have to sack something. But this could be a speed tie. Although he could be Choice Bandit, I do not know. Um, he's kind of like Rock Week, but the sun is up, so I want to hit something with Flare Blitz. Should have gone for the, uh, should have gone for the other move. Oh, well. Flare Blitz did 36%. I, I think I just want to go for a Three hit KO here, and he body presses. Is he gonna? Well, you have to make a choice, man. I'm gonna go down with the recoil, but you're gone, and I can go into Blissey. Maybe get off Stealth Rock. He makes a smart move, goes into Torkoal. Do I knock him out with the Seismic Toes from this range? Okay. He goes into Togekiss. Alright, that's fine. Venusaur? That's an interesting choice. I do have Among Us, but he probably has Weather Ball. Is he gonna start, like, setting up? Like, is he... Like, even with the sun and everything, like... I mean, he's gonna geek it drain, but... Plus two, even plus four, like, I'm not... I mean, Giga Drain is gonna... Let's see how much he's gonna heal. I can't go into Among Us as long as the sun is up. Yeah, he does two hit KO. Oh man, that's incredible. 46%. Hmm. I think I need to do a little bit of pivoting here to... Oh, that's so nice. What a move. He re really uses his uh, turns well. Uh, he's, had, he's got so many boosts and... I mean, Magnazone... Two turns of... Oh wait, I should have gone into... I should have gone into, like, Clefable first. And then tried to, like, coax him out into going for the... I think this one is over. Yeah, this one is over. That's how you beat a stall team. That was a quick game. Speaking of. So, let's see how this one goes. Maybe if this is a quick one, then we'll do one more. But we shall see. But yeah, he was really well prepared and made a... Even a really nice play with the uh, weather ball there, so he definitely deserved the win. But here... Mm, he's gonna lead with the... Um, nine tails. I mean, I kinda wanna... Get Stealth Rocks up for the Volcarona, although he could be like... Heavy duty boots. But I'm gonna go for Rocks. And then go for uh, Toxic. Yeah. Okay. He goes for Encore. That's fine. Is he gonna wanna go into... What is he gonna wanna go into? I think I'm gonna go into Clefable first. Okay. In comes Haxorus. That's interesting. He could have Poison Jab, I guess. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna be doing yet another match. I don't know. Some people just hate Stall. I understand. So, yeah. Let's try to uh, get one more match in in 
this case. Okay. Okay. Mm, leads. Maybe Clefable, maybe Kyurem, maybe this thing could be Choice Bandit lead. Hmm. I'm gonna just try to set up rocks, although he has, he has a lot of physical attackers, so... Eh, Corviknights. I don't think that's the worst thing. If he body presses, that's fine. But he's gonna U-turn, probably expecting the Magnezone anyway, so... Okay, what does the Rillaboom do? I do have the Skarmori, so... That's fine, okay. This is a true U-turning team. Volcarona. Let's see if he has, like, Safeguard. Okay. He switches out, goes into... Goes into Clefable. Is he gonna go for, like, Stealth Rock of his own? Hmm, this could be a... Could be an opportunity to uh, get a subub with uh, Magnezone. I think Magnezone is my best way to pressure him anyway, so I'm gonna do that. What is he gonna switch into? Hmm. I'm a sub and scout. What's up? Okay, teleport. That's fine. At least there's no flamethrower. I don't think on a set like that. And Rillaboom Rilla comes in, but just as he does, the grassy terrain is gone. Ooh. This might be a good chance to uh, just iron defense here. I'm gonna do it. Oh, he goes for the wood hammer. I don't like this. I don't like that balloon breaks when you have a substitute. Like, the substitute is supposed to, like, you're forging it, you're forging a substitute out of your own hit point to make a doll to take attacks for you. Now he could have the high horsepower. He goes into Volcarona. Uh. Don't get burned. This is a contact move, right? Yep. So in comes the Volcarona. I think I'm gonna just go into Blissey. Yeah, take the Fire Blast. And... I don't think he's gonna stay in. So I'll just go for the uh, go for the seismic toss to get some damage in. Okay, rocky helmet. That's fine. I could go into Skarmori, set up some hazards. He might defog. I mean. I didn't go into Magnezone before. But he could just U-turn again. I think Magnezone is still fine. It's still fine. He body presses. Okay, that's cool. I can... I have no reason to do anything else besides Thunderbolt, knock out the Corviknight. That's great. That's one less answer to Blissey's <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> Um, but in comes the Como O. I think Skarmori is the best answer I got. Let's see. He goes for Poison Jab. I think I'm gonna pressure him with some uh, spikes. What? Glangorous Soul? Okay, he's gonna boost himself up. He may have Flamethrower. Uh oh. Okay, he doesn't. Good riddance. Need to get rid of it anyway, so... But... I drag out the Kyurem, and I'm kinda in a range where he can knock me out, so I think I'll go into Blissey. 
with heavy duty boots. He sees that coming, goes into Rillaboom. Okay, that's fine. But he's starting to. All this damage with the entry hazard is really starting to rack up on his team, so that's great. Um, Skarmory is still my best answer, but he could Sword Dance here. I think that's his best bet. But he keeps on going with the U-turn. He's got the wood hammer, so judging by those moves alone, I think he's like a choice bandit, probably. Hmm. I'm a roost here. Oh man, he has really bad luck. He has really bad luck. He's only shown fire blast so far. Um. But, like, I got the Blissey, so <laughs> I'm gonna go into it. I was expecting him to Quiver Dance here. And then, like, I wouldn't be too worried, because I have the Blissey with the Toxic and everything. And then I could, you know, poison him. And then, even then, like, I have a Choice Scarf Ditto, who could copy all the boosts, so there's that. But anyways, that will be the game. That was... These matches were heavy, a little bit heavy with all the all the stall, but um, stall is a different play style, but it was still kind of interesting. I wasn't really able to like use Magnezone to its full potential. I think I don't think we ran into a single Ferrothorn, which I was really hoping that we would, so I uh, would have been able to like use the Iron Defense Substitute Body Press shenanigans to its, you know, full potential, but um, anyways, it was a fun day fun matches so thank you everybody so much for watching and i'm gonna keep on rambling another day so i will check you guys and next time until then this is spade signing out peace